The print technology has been such a useful and crucial one to humankind that it never remained restricted to one region or one country only. Since it is so useful to people that over time it spread over the countries and even the continents. In our last lesson, we talked about how printing techniques developed in China in the ancient times. Having talked about that, in this lesson, we will be focusing on the development of printing techniques in another East Asian country, which is Japan. So, let us now begin this discussion on print in Japan. So, as we mentioned, over the years, the printing technology spread from China to other East Asian countries and even in Europe. Now, for now, we will be focusing on print in Japan. So, around 768 to 770 CE, Buddhist missionaries from China introduced hand printing technology in Japan. So, the Buddhist missionaries who were traveling from China to Japan brought this hand printing technology to this new country. Now, we talked about the hand printing technology which was woodblock printing when we talked about how printing techniques evolved in China. And here the same woodblock printing technique which was a hand printing technique. Now, earlier on we talked about the woodblock printing technique that was a hand printing technique which had evolved in China. And over the years around 768 to 770 CE, this printing technique now made its way to Japan. Now, when we talk about how the hand printing technique made its way from China to Japan, I am sure you are very curious to know which was the first hand printed book that was printed in Japan. Well, the Buddhist Diamond Sutra is the first hand printed Japanese book and this book was printed in 868 CE. Now, it is the oldest Japanese book as we just mentioned and it contains six sheets of text and woodcut illustrations. Now, here you can see a page from the Buddhist Diamond Sutra. This is done by an entirely hand printing technique and this is the process of making of woodcut illustrations. Now, woodcut illustrations is a relief process in which sharp blades or other sharp tools are used to make engravings on a surface of wood. Now, can you understand how laborious this process was? Because this was done entirely manually. This was done with hand. No technology was there at that point of time to facilitate those people who were doing these woodcut illustrations. Now, what do we understand by the name of the text as in the Diamond Sutra? Let us now find that out. Now, this Diamond Sutra is a very brief text and the word Sutra means sacred text and this sacred text of the Buddhists contains many teachings of Lord Buddha. But what do we understand by the name Diamond Sutra? Sutra means sacred text as we can understand and this book is as sharp as the ages of a diamond. Well, what do we understand by this? This means that the teachings of Buddha that are contained in this book are very reflective and philosophical in nature. These are so sharp that they will help us cut through the web of worldly illusions, which is why this book is known as the Diamond Sutra. And keep this name in mind because this is the oldest printed Japanese book. Now, let me ask you a question before proceeding with this lesson any further. Which of these is the oldest printed Japanese text? Is it the Kokoro, the Tale of Genji, the Diamond Sutra or Snow Country? Well, the correct answer is the Diamond Sutra. It is the oldest printed Japanese book and it was done through proper hand printing techniques. Now, given the great usages of printing techniques over time, this technology spread throughout Japan itself. 
and different kinds of things were now being printed in Japan. So, with the print technology establishing itself in Japan, pictures now began to be printed on different kinds of surfaces like Japanese textile, Japanese playing cards or even on Japanese paper money which was known as yen. So, pictures were now being printed on these different surfaces. Now, in the absence of printing technology, it is not possible to have books and other kinds of printed materials because earlier on oral traditions existed in most parts of the world in the absence of printing technology. But when the printing technology established itself in Japan and started spreading throughout the country, then poems and prose were being regularly written and published by poets and writers. So, in medieval Japan, these kinds of printed things were also coming to being. And it was the great printing technology that made books cheap and abandoned. So, a lot of cheap books were now being circulated and all thanks to the printing technology which had established itself in Japan during the medieval times. Now, we began this lesson by talking about how we will trace the evolution of printing technology in Japan. Over the years, cities were being modernized. Different kinds of people were staying in the cities who held from different strata of the society. They had their own ways of living. So, all in all, a new culture was coming into being in the Japanese cities. In the late 18th century, a new city gained importance and prominence in Japan, which was the city of Edo. Now, Edo is known as Tokyo in today's world, which is the capital of Japan. Now, Edo gained importance since it became a space where a sophisticated and urban culture flourished. Since people from different parts of the country were now coming to stay in this new space, a new culture which was very urban, sophisticated and elegant in nature now came into being. Now, what do we get to know about this urban and sophisticated culture that grew in Edo around the late 18th century? Well, we have a host of illustrated paintings that tell us a lot about the urban culture that flourished around this point of time. These illustrated collections of paintings depict the elegant urban culture that included artists, courtesans, tea house gatherings and different kinds of meetings. So, from all these things we can understand this culture was very elegant and sophisticated in nature. This culture was not a very rural and rustic one. And all this happened because the printing technology had developed in Japan. Now, how do we get to know that it was Edo that became the locus of a blooming urban culture around this time? This is because many illustrated collections have been recovered and restored from Edo and these testify to the fact that it was Edo which now became the new modern space of urban blooming culture. Now over the years libraries now sprang up in different parts of Japan. Because it's not possible to house so many printed materials in the bookshops and the seller's stores, which is why collections, which is why libraries were now coming into being in order to preserve and collect so many printed materials. And these libraries were filled with hand printed books, which were of different types. Now, these hand printed books were devoted to different subjects like women's lives, cooking, calculations, proper etiquettes, tea gatherings. So, from this all we can understand is that the libraries around this point of time were housing books which were written on very urban and sophisticated subjects. Now, what you see here is the famous Akita library in Japan. 
It is one of the oldest libraries in the country. Just by seeing a glimpse of it, doesn't it seem like a book lover's paradise? In today's times, it houses millions of books and many such libraries are present throughout Japan. Well, these libraries came into being after the late 18th centuries and over the time these libraries have grown in their space and grandeur. In a subsequent lesson, we will travel to a new continent that is the continent of Europe and we will learn how this print culture and print technology made its way from the East Asian countries to the faraway Europe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.